All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Smitty back with another Smitty Craft recap update video. How you guys doing? Thank you so much for playing the server, guys. The server is still going. I appreciate you all so much, everyone who's ever logged in. We got a lot of new things, a lot of announcements to talk about today. First thing I want to apologize is that the quality of this video is going to be a little bit lower. I'm using a lower end microphone here because I actually got kicked out of my dorm room last Wednesday for the holidays. I kind of forgot they were doing that to me, so I accidentally left my my, my good microphone there. So I'm using a little off-brand microphone here, and also I recorded all these clips on my laptop, so it's just it's a little bit of a mess. But thank you all so much for sticking with me. We're gonna go through a lot of announcements today and a lot of cool things added to SmittyCraft, so let's get right into this. The first thing I want to talk about is this important website called the SmittyCraft wiki page. Now what the wiki page is, is it holds all the information regarding everything about SmittyCraft. So like all the custom enchantments, all the just everything, the battle pass, like some people might not even know that we have a battle pass, but any all the information about the server guys, go to the wiki page, you can just read it there, see all the features that SmittyCraft has, because it's kind of getting to be a lot for me just to explain in chat. I just I just want to be able to say, go to the wiki page, you can read what, what the server's about. But yeah, go to this page right here, I'm keeping update logs on and I'm keeping all the information for the server. So yeah, you guys won't miss anything if you just keep up to date with the wiki page. If you're in game and you want to get a link to the wiki page, use slash MOTD and that will give you a link to the wiki page as well as the Discord. Make sure you join the Discord for more support. As always, gotta plug the Discord. Plug the wiki page. Please join it, guys. Please check it out. Very important. And yes, it'll help you keep up to date with Smittycraft for sure. Now, there will be timestamps in the description of this video explaining everything that I'm gonna talk about today. So if you just wanna skip to something, feel free to go click on those. But the first thing we're gonna talk about today is this big new addition to Smittycraft. We have got vehicles. <laughs> Now the way the vehicles work is if you go to the marketplace and you go all the way down to the end here, you'll see these signs right here that basically display all the different vehicles that we have. There's 16 different vehicles and to buy one, all you have to do is click on the sign and there will be three options for each vehicle. Basically on the left side you have the, the weaker, less expensive vehicle and to the right you have the more expensive one. So right here I'm looking at trains, the right one's going to be the fastest and just the best train so I bought that one and then you'll get a chest just like this. Then all you have to do is take that chest, go place it on a railroad, and you'll here you go. You'll have the train right here. It's very cool. It goes faster than a, than a minecart. And just a cool little addition there. Now, well, there's actually 16 new vehicles that we added. So I'm just going to showcase them all really quick here. Right here, I'm driving one of the cars. So the cars just haul very fast on the ground. It's really cool. They can't go over one block areas. They can go over slabs, though. So that's how the cars work. Right here I got the tractor, and the tractor is really cool. You can drive over crops that are fully ready to be harvested, and it will actually harvest those crops for you, as well as replant them. So it's a really cool feature right there. The tractor is very nice for speeding up farming, for sure. Wow, I just went back and listened to these recordings right now, and it just sounds like I'm sitting on the other side of the room from the microphone, but I can promise you I'm right next to the microphone trying to record. This thing is low quality. Anyways, another one of the vehicles that we have here is the mecha. Now this thing's really cool. It has a couple abilities. Number one, it can fly, which is really awesome. Flying is always good. Number two, it's got a grapple ability. Not the most useful thing ever, but it can grapple forward if you if you I think it's left click with it and then you can also right click to shoot a laser beam that is very very powerful this thing is so strong it just two shot that iron golem insanely broken but yes use the mecha to go snipe some stuff very cool nice addition right there another thing we have is the helicopter now, this is the Apache helicopter this thing is so cool looks awesome if you hold a fire charge in your in your offhand or if you're holding one you can right click and shoot fireballs with this thing it's just it looks so good it just flies so smooth everything's just so good about this thing I definitely like the helicopters very cool wow after listening to that clip I just recorded it literally sounds like I'm now standing farther standing farther away from the microphone but I promise you it's right here anyways another thing we have right here is the race car this thing looks really cool it hauls on the ground and just similar to the car except it looks different but overall this thing is so fast very cool addition right there with the race car over here we've got the tank now this thing is similar to the Apache attack uh, helicopter this this thing can also just shoot nukes I'm sorry this thing is so broken you take a fire charge in your offhand you shoot this thing total chaos and destruction right here as you can see it's very slow but it makes up for it in its firepower look at this thing just tearing stuff down oh geez if this gets in the wrong hands this could be the end of the server to be honest <laughs> enjoy the tank right here I'm using the plane now the plane is also really cool if you hold TNT in your hand while you're flying the plane you can literally drop bombs at this thing too but to fly the plane make sure you're looking up to get off the ground you have to be looking up it's kind hard to figure out at first look up to go up look down to go down wheels go in if you hit oh my god the frames if you uh, right click you'll drop tnt as a bomb very overpowered very cool that's the plane though Right here we've got the hover bike. The hover bike's really cool, it basically hovers over blocks. But anyways, while I showcase the rest of these vehicles, I just want to inform you guys that each vehicle takes fuel to run. Now fuel is anything that you put in a furnace. It can be coal, any wood type. Anyways, they need fuel to run just like that. You can see the bar in the middle of the screen sometimes, and it'll show you how much fuel it has. Now to get to the fuel menu to put in fuel, I think you have to like right click while sitting in the vehicle or something. Just press buttons with it. I know you have to shift right click vehicles to pick them up. It's 
it's kind of a little confusing, but you'll get to the fuel menu eventually. Just keep clicking buttons while driving the vehicle and stuff. Right there you have the motorcycle. Right here I've got the broom. The broom is really cool as it's basically just creative flying and survival. So I would definitely suggest the broom. It's very nice, very cool feature there. But anyways, that's pretty much the majority of the vehicles. There's also rafts and submarines. I don't have footage for them. Sorry, but yes, they go in the water. Submarines can go underwater and let you breathe. So yeah, th those are the 16 vehicles. Very cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. Now we're going to move on and show a few of the bases that you guys are building as well as the leaderboards and stats as where everyone's at sitting on those. So let's get right into this. So right here we've got Phaser Phaser's base and I think Grim Mare is also helping Phaser here. So shout out to Grim and Phaser making this base right here. Very nice. Coming together. Awesome, Phaser. Good work, dude. Right here we've got uh, PFAD Gamer's base, I believe. Up here, he's just chilling up in the sky, floating, dude. That's his way of life. Respect it. Right here we've got Grim Mare's airport strip right here coming together. Very cool. He's flexing his wealth with those vehicles, of course. Grim is very rich. Right here we've got uh, Hunter's base. I think this is Hunter. Please don't crucify me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's Hunter's base. Very nice, dude. Into the side of the hill there. Very cool. Right here, we're looking at my base as well as the rest of the NSC, and I'm just very proud to announce that for the first time in Spinnycraft history, I might actually have a base. But anyways, moving on right here, we've got Feather Flames base. Now, this man went ahead and made his own helicopter before we even announced these vehicles. Man's got his own helicopter, got his own like tank out there. Crazy base, Feather. I want to thank you so much for playing, dude. It's coming together great, and I really, I really like your base. I really do. Moving on though, we've got the Dark Penguins base. This man just keeps adding floors to his house. It's coming together, nice penguin. And if you go to this floor right here where he's got his cactus farm, you'll actually see that he has completed the season one battle pass as he has the season one custom battle pass block the, the exclusive the limited time uh, block right there thank you for playing dark penguin you've got the block even though i think for bedrock users that's just a mushroom block it looks good on java thank you so much for playing dark penguin nice base dude and then right here we've got the updated stats for absolutely everything that's keep uh, getting kept track of in spinnycraft as you can see the numbers are increasing drastically i want to thank you guys so much for playing right here and shout out to all these people on the top of leaderboards good work guys cake slices eat i see you feather flame 1v1s gamer drill you win you lose you're also on top of spleef nice dude good job gamer now there's actually a new way to remove enchantments from your weapon. So what you want to do is you want to craft this item right here. You want to place a book in the middle, then you want to take four lapis lazuli blocks or whatever lazula, however you say it. And then you want to take bottles of enchantment and you want to place them on the outskirts just like this. Then you'll get this enchantment brick right here. What you want to do is simply take that. It'll say you can put this on a weapon to take off an enchantment. And all you want to do is take that brick and drag it over the weapon that you want to take the enchantment off. I drag it over my sword. It'll show all the enchantments I have on that sword. And then all you have to do is simply click one of the books to extract that enchantment. And it will be taken off your sword and you'll actually get the enchantment book in your inventory so very cool right there that's how you get rid of enchantments one by one on spinnycraft now let's say you want to remove a custom enchantment because the brick does not work for custom enchantments what you have to do is find a black scroll now a black scroll can be found in naturally generated loot you can get out of the battle pass but the best way to get black scrolls i think is to trade them with villagers so if you get a villager uh farm set up villagers can actually have a chance to trade you black scrolls and they can trade everything else with custom enchantments too i would definitely start a villager farm if you can but all you have to do with this black scroll is just take it drag it over the weapon you want and it will take off a random uh enchantment it, it is random so you can't pick which, which one you want but it'll take off a random custom enchantment and it will convert that into a book that has a certain percentage of working again so that's how you take off custom enchantments on uh on your already enchanted weapons that's the custom ones we have a few new things updated with these survival spawn areas so the first thing i want to do is direct people's attention to the welcome sign over here this is for new players it shows all the commands on the right side that you can use and it kind of tells you where to start when you join the server for the first time so the welcome board definitely got upgraded of course check out the wiki page got to plug that on the welcome board but yes that's the first thing the second thing that we added to the spawn area is that you can now simply stand on a pressure plate to tp out of spawn a couple thousand blocks so all you want to do is go over here where it says stand over here to tp out of spawn this is kind of for the newer players and all you have to do is simply follow it step on this pressure plate and you'll be TP'd to a random location. So if you just want to go find a place to live, feel free to do this to get out of all the chaos of spawn. Uh, remember, the spawn coordinates, the market coordinates are 0, 0, or you could just do slash warp market if you want to go back, or slash spawn. But yes, it takes me to a random spot. Very cool feature right there. The next thing we have here by the market is that players now have the ability to place trade signs on the side of the market. So you can trade your own items here, just in a nice, convenient location for everyone. So if you want to sell items right here, enter a trade sign right here on the side of the uh, of the market. You have the ability to do that. And uh, yeah, there you go. People can come look at your items, and it's just a nice, convenient location to sell stuff so if you want to sell items feel free to place signs there Another big change to Spinnycraft is that we have now linked up these survival and anarchy worlds together. So what this means is that at spawn here, there's a sign you can click to enter the anarchy world. Once you're in the anarchy world, your inventory will stay the same, the same money and everything throughout both worlds. The only difference is that the anarchy world, there's no claimed land, nothing is safe, anything you build can get destroyed. Keep inventory still on in the anarchy world, to be honest. That might be changed eventually, but for now it's still on. And yeah, we also have a new warp. You can do slash warp anarchy, that'll take you to the anarchy world. And yeah, you can just warp between worlds, they're just connected now, it's nice and easy. So if you want to fight a battle here, feel free to just run to the anarchy world and each other but yes 
But anyways, that brings us to the end of this Spinnycraft update video. As always, again, just want to thank all the players, everyone who's ever played Spinnycraft. Of course, we're going to keep updating, adding a lot of new things. Check out the wiki page. We're going to have a Squid Games community event happening, I think, next weekend. I think it should be ready to go by then, so that should be a lot of fun. Yeah, so new minigames coming, a lot of cool stuff. And of course, we'll just keep those plugins coming. It's an addiction. But yeah, thank you all so much for playing Spinnycraft. You guys are the best. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helped you out. Go to the wiki page. And until next one, guys, it's been Spinny. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out, guys.